All right, Matt, thank you for that. And Albany police officers are charged with protecting lives, and this morning they were given access to the training and equipment they need to save lives. Police and city officials showed off the new law enforcement survival kits. It'll allow them to treat injured officers and civilians who suffer traumatic injuries. And our Pat Bailey joins us live now with more from the Capitol Bureau. And this sounds like a big improvement, Pat. Well, Liz, it really is. Now, the concept is not new, but the technology is. And in fact, it was just used recently, we're told, at the scene of a shooting in the city. And everyone on hand today credited this device with saving a woman's life, believe it or not. Now, it's nothing more than a strap with some buckles, but it's the newest kind of tourniquet. It's technology that the military uses, and now Albany Med, the city police, and fire are also trained on it. The goal is to keep as much blood in a trauma victim as possible, of course, to save their life. Officials at Albany Med say it is already working as a victim from the double shooting in Albany recently saved not only her life, but also saved her leg after they saved her life. The partnership for trauma care from that initial responding officer through the professional fire department and EMS response right into our trauma bay where our trauma team is going to take over. That's what's going to save lives in the city of Albany. And this is unique to the city of Albany, believe it or not. And actually, the country officials on hand today said Albany is the first city to use this type of technology. They said much larger metropolitan areas still not advanced on it. They credit that to Homeland Security training out near Utica because this is a military type uh, style piece of technology that, again, now being used in city streets. Liz?